You are about to hear a story based on actual events. To protect the innocent, names and places have been changed. Autolite and its 96,000 dealers bring you Mr. Jeff Chandler in a story taken from life. Tonight's presentation of... Suspense. Tonight, Autolite presents The Steel River Prison Break, a story concerning one of the most fantastic prison breaks ever engineered, starring Mr. Jeff Chandler. Hello, Harlow. Well, starch my sombrero if it's not Sheriff Sam. I brung in a rustler, Harlow. A uh, cattle rustler? Nope, a gas rustler, McCarr. It uses gas something awful and bucks like a bronco. Well, sounds like spark plug trouble, Sheriff. Your Autolite spark plug dealer can help you in a jiffy. He has the exclusive plug check indicator that shows the exact condition of those spark plugs and whether they're right for your type of driving. Maybe they just need cleaning or adjusting, Harlow. Well, your Autolite spark plug dealer has the special equipment to give you the best job money can buy, Sheriff. Yeah, but supposing them critters are dead. Well, then he'll replace them with a set of standard or resistor type ignition engineered Autolite spark plugs. The spark plugs that are world famous for quality and performance. So, friends, you'll find it pays to have your spark plugs checked soon. See your Autolite spark plug dealer. And remember, from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And now, with. The Steel River Prison Break and the performance of Mr. Jeff Chandler. Autolite hopes once again to keep you in... Suspense! It was set for Friday. I mean set. We'd thought of everything. Cronin would be waiting in a speedboat under the wall. We'd make it during the recreation period. Some of the boys would start a rhubarb in the far corner of the yard. We'd be up and over and in the river before the guards missed us. And then Tuesday night, the radio changed everything. Word has just reached us from Pequot City. The river is three feet below flood stage at Lock 7 and rising. Flood stage is expected at midnight. Rain is still falling in the upper watershed. Flood warnings have been issued along the waterfront here in Frickburg. Elsewhere, rising waters are reported in the upper Allegheny and Monongahela and flood stages may be expected from New Kensington and Wheeling to Pittsburgh. We return you to Tuesday Reveries with the Steel River Sinfonetta. That does it. And what's that? The flood. Mush, you hear that on the radio? Yeah, I heard it. So it's raining outside. Yeah, it's raining up the river and it's raining in the mountains. And we're mighty lucky to be nice and warm and a comfy little old present, sir. We gotta move up the timetable. What? Huh? What are you talking about? We walk out of here tomorrow night, Thursday morning latest. Well, how come? Cronin won't be here for us till Friday afternoon. What are you trying to do? Louse up the detail? Now listen, the river will hit flood stage at Lock 7 at midnight tonight. So what? So Lock 7 is 80 miles upstream. Right below it, the Lucinda River runs into the steel. That means that Lock 8 at Renton will probably give way by tomorrow morning. Between Lock 8 and Frickburg, a half dozen little rivers pour into the steel. By midnight tomorrow night, the prison will be an island surrounded by the biggest flood since 1886. Very interesting. I don't know much about these things. We don't ever get much water on the Rio Grande. Well, I know. I was born and raised a half a mile from here. I know floods. I was raised on them. Flooded out twice a year, and as a kid, every fall and every spring, by tomorrow night, this cell block will be a swimming pool. Well, that'll be a change. Tomorrow night we go. What about Cronin? Cronin ain't gonna get here in this flood. Look, Bragg, I don't think we ought to risk it. There ain't any risk. You don't know how it is when there's a flood. People go crazy. We get out of here, we act like any other characters trying to get to high ground. Only we head for my house, we get a change of clothes, and we're on our way. We'll be at Cronin's joint in Youngstown before he ever gets started. No, Bragg. If you're going with me, you're going, I say so, and I say tomorrow. But, Bragg. What, Rudd? I can't swim. We already had a gun. Don't matter how, Cronin got it into me. 
I buried it in a can of tallow in the soap plant. I put that can of tallow so far back in the corner wasn't nobody going to use it to make soap. I broke it out yesterday and hid it behind the tubes and things in my radio. I got a radio in my cell because I've been such a model prisoner. Me. Wednesday morning before breakfast, Lefty, the head screw, came into the cell block and made his little speech. Man, we're in for a flood. Looks like it's going to be serious. Water's only a foot below the top of the downtown flood walls right now. Ain't that too bad? The Frickburg Disaster Committee's asked every able-bodied man to get down there and help sandbag those walls. I'm a stranger in town myself. That's for citizens and taxpayers. Yeah. All right, how many of you want to volunteer for the job? I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. All right. We'll take off after breakfast. But remember, this ain't no picnic. Don't try no funny stuff. Because I'll be right there with you, me and the rest of my boys. Oh, you don't want to stand out there in the rain all day. <laughs> okay. That's all. Breakfast in five minutes. Up goes the timetable again. What? Don't have to wait for the night. We make it this morning. What are you doing with that radio? What do you think? Give me the tape. Tape? The tape. That phony boiler bandage the other day. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ow, that hurts. Oh, you don't take it off that way. You do it this way. <laughs> take it Shut easy, up. What? That hurt me, Brad. You know, I taped this automatic on the inside of my leg. Yeah, we're on our way. Yeah, Brad? You all set, Moish? Set. When we get down to the river, we keep close together. Watch me. Sure, Brad. Whatever you say. <laughs> Town looks good. Yeah, what's so good about it? All those crummy houses all painted the same crummy color. Yeah, they was once painted different colors. And how come they're all the same color? All dingy gray like smoke. Coal smoke from the mills. Oh, I get it. Like down home. Houses are all a crummy yellow from the crummy dust. See down the street? Third house on the left? Yeah. What about it? That's where we'll be tonight. Is that your joint? Yeah, home sweet home. Ma still lives there. Yeah, but ain't they liable to look for us, sir? They do, Ma. I'll take care of them. She got no use for cops. Ever since my old man got slapped around in the Battle of the Barges up at Homestead. Oh. What's the matter? Ah, the guns are getting a pinch. You can stand a few more minutes, can't you? You kidding? Hey. Hey, look at that. That old red brick building? What about it? The Candler's School. That's where I went. You graduate, Brad? Ah, uh, no, I transferred to Pine Hill, graduated there. Pine Hill? What's that? State reformatory. Hey, what are they slowing down for? Yeah, we ain't no ways near the river. Uh, turn into a gravel yard, looks like. All right, boys. Five of you drop off here to fill sandbags. Minkowski, Steiner, Anthony, Walton, and Bragg. Me? Yeah, you. Come on, pile out. Brad, right, what are we going to do? Nothing, no. Well, Brad, there goes the ball game. Uh-uh. Only one inning. I knew that gravel yard. Used to play in it when I was a kid. It was just three blocks from my old lady's house. I could have made it easy through back alleys. But I ain't that kind of guy. I went into the pen on the same rap with Moish. I wasn't going to leave it without him. And run. I liked the bum. A little slow in the upstairs department, maybe, but a good guy. I'd wait. But it was tough. Filling sandbags all day in the rain with that tape gun cutting into my leg. No blood getting to my foot. First it hurt, then it was like pins and needles in my toes, and I couldn't feel nothing at all. It was real tough, because I didn't dare limp. I couldn't take a chance on any nosy guard asking me what was the matter. Got tougher. Towards the end of the day, I was seeing spots in front of my eyes. I was like to pass out when the truck come by to pick us up. It wasn't until after chow when we was locked in my cell for the night I, I could get the thing off my leg. And then it all went into reverse. The pins and needles came back, and after them, the pain. That leg looks like you was branded. Yeah, it feels it. Moish and I never expected to see you back here. You kidding? Well... You know, 
Ten on the radio. Let's see how the flood's doing. All right. Tomorrow, we got to make sure we stick together. How are we going to do that? I don't know, but we got to, because tomorrow's going to be our last chance. Ohio Avenue Bridge, 41 feet, 6 inches, and rising. Holy... Cr- this is four station feet above KDKW flood stage. Frickberg. We'll remain on the air throughout the night to bring you flood bulletins and assist in directing rescue operations. Attention, please. The flood wall at Water Street and 4th has given way. All residents of the Brownsville district are advised to evacuate their homes at once. Here we go. All civilian what? defense workers, please contact the station leaders at once. Send the boat to 317 California Street. Hey, Marsh. Yeah, you getting this? It won't be long now. Frank, look. What? The floor at the end of the cell block. The water. The trickle of water, I told you. It means there's a foot and a half or two feet out in the yard. Hey, the lights went out. Hey! Hey! Now listen to me. There ain't any lights. Dynamo's flooded out. We're going to move you men. There'll be six foot of water in this cell block by morning. Oh, you gonna move We're it moving too. you out. Where are you taking us, Lefty? Yeah. We're moving you to the Conestoga County Jail. It's on high ground. You'll be safe there till the water drops. You'll be in the drunk tank on the fourth floor. I object. All right. Now let's make it snappy. The water's rising two feet an hour. I'm going to open the doors. Form in line and follow me. No funny business. All set, Rock? Yeah. Moish? Set. Hey. You forgot. No, I didn't. And you're going to tape it to your leg? Not this time. It goes into my belt. Going to need it in less than three minutes. Now stick close to me. All right, now. Line up. Let's go. Come on, this way, man. The buses are right here at the gate. Come on, here. Come, come on. on. Keep it moving. Run. Yeah. Come on. Fatty, by the gate. I'll take him from behind. You get his gun. Right. All right. Let's Keep go, man. Come on. Come on. You get lefty, I'll get Riley. What about me? Run, shoot straighter. Just keep with me. All right. Come on, boys. Come on. We ain't got all night. Snap it up. Come on. Get the light. You what? Yeah. You got the gun, run? Yeah. I got it. Hey, get back in the line. Make me. Stand right where you are. Don't anybody move. Get behind me, run. Okay. Come on, shoot, lefty. Fatty makes a good chest protector. No, no. Oh, relax, Fatty. You might not get hurt. Stop that man, Bragg. And your gun. You make a pretty good target, Lefty. They just might drop you. You know what that'll get you. Sure. What's the difference? One guard or two guards? It's the same hot seat. Bragg, we better move. Every screw in the place will be down here now. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Auto Light is bringing you Mr. Jeff Chandler in The Steel River Prison Break. Tonight's production in radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Well, you happy, Sheriff? Sure am, Harlow. Happy as a pinto pony in pasture. Since my Autolite spark plug dealer checked them spark plugs with that exclusive Autolite plug check indicator. (laughs) What did it show, Sheriff? Those critters were as worn as the cowboys' chaps after the spring roundup. But it lassoed them for a hip herd of ignition-engineered Autolite spark plugs. And now my car takes off like a scared coyote, runs sweet as a cowpoke's dream, uses less gas and a gopher shadow. Well, I knew it would, Sheriff, because ignition-engineered Autolite spark plugs are designed by the same men who engineer the coil, distributor, and all the other important parts of the ignition system used as original factory equipment on many makes of our finest cars, trucks, and tractors. That's why, when you replace worn-out spark plugs with standard or resistor-type Autolite spark plugs, you can be sure of getting smoother performance, quick starts, and gas savings. So, friends... See your Autolite spark plug dealer soon and have him compare your spark plugs with the famous plug check indicator. For his name and address, just call Western Union by number and ask for operator 25. Oh, remember too, you're always right with Autolite. 
And now, Autolite brings back to our Hollywood soundstage Mr. Jeff Chandler in Elliot Lewis's production of The Steel River Prison Break, a dramatic report well calculated to keep you in suspense. What'd you have to shoot that guard for, Run? I didn't want to take any chances. You dumb jerk. Breaking out of stir is one thing, murder's another. Come on, this way. We splashed up Ohio Street, and there wasn't no one following us. Screws were too busy getting the other cons into the buses. They couldn't have found us anyway, because we lost ourselves behind the swinging doors of Hurley's Saloon, where I used to rush the growler for my old man. We were in pretty good shape. I hadn't used my own gun yet. Run had three rounds left in the guard's gun. So we just stood there in the dark with the water lapping around our knees and watched the buses loaded with stirbirds pull out one by one for the Conestoga County Jail. We made it. We made it. So far. What do we do now, swim? I can't swim. Well, we ain't gonna walk, that's for sure. Mars' house is ten blocks closer to the river. This water's going up, not down. It stinks. Sure it stinks. Floods always stink. You ought to smell what it's like when the water drops. And we ain't gonna be here to smell it. Wait a minute. Listen. Highway is US 30. All units of National Guard use Highway 30. Where's that radio coming from? Yeah, a rescue boat. All the rivermen help when there's a flood like this. Not even a radio. So maybe a rescue us, huh? Yeah, that's what I figured, Ron. Right. Uh, let me handle it. You two act a little tight. Hey, hey, Mac! Over this way! Just stay behind these swinging doors. Over here at that Hurley's! What are you doing there? I took the last guy out there a half hour ago. Oh, we was in the back room with a, with a pitcher of beer. We wasn't ready to leave yet. You're lucky I cut through this way. Now that the cons are out of the pen, this entire area has been cleared. You guys might have drowned. Yeah, I guess we might have. Oh, here, take my hand. Yeah. Come on here. Oh, thanks, mister. I've never saw so much rain in my life. Well, all aboard? Yep. Well, then let's... Hey... Hey, what kind of suits is that? Hey, you guys are contracted. Oh. That's right, buddy. I'll take off his windbreaker, run. What? Huh? Strip him. I want to cover this number on my back. Oh, yeah, sure. Come on, give me a hand, boy. Yeah. Hey, I'll back. Good. Over the side with him. Huh? Oh, you ain't gonna... No, I ain't gonna. You are. Over the side. But that's murder. But there's talk. You shot a guard ten minutes ago. What was that, target practice? Over the side. Oh, okay, Brad. All right, Susan. So hit the deck out of sight. Here we go. Where are we going, Greg? Mars House. On Ohio Street now. We turn left on the Liberty, and eight blocks from there, we're home. Turn off that radio. Yeah. Here's Liberty Street now. Hang on. Take it easy, Greg. Now watch out, Greg. There's a boatload of people up here. Get down, Ron. Get down! You ran down that boat. Yeah, yeah, I know. There were women and kids in it. That's that tough luck. We gotta go back. We can't go back. Where's Run? Huh? Run. Hey, Run, where are you? Get down, Moist. Stay out of sight. He ain't here. He must have fell out when we hit the boat. We gotta go back for him. We can't, Moist. Yeah, but he's got the gun. He had the guard's gun. I still got mine with a full clip. But Draggy can't swim. I know. Well, maybe the water ain't deep there. Maybe he can walk. You kidding? Look at those storefronts. There's 15 feet of water under us. Tied up to the front porch roof of Mars' house. Didn't take long to rip the radio and battery out of that launch, kick a hole in her bottom and sink her on Mars' front yard. We needed the radio. I wanted to know whether the boys were looking for us or for flood victims. A boat to 754 Stanton Alley. Joel, they picked that one up. Correction. Disregard 754 Stanton Alley. Attention all doctors and nurses in Crane Valley, New Thames, and Henry Roy. Your they were looking for flood victims. With people drowning and typhoid threatening, the water supply cut off, the phone lines out, and the National Guard and Army called in, no one was thinking much about three escapees. I mean, two. Ma wasn't home, Natch. 
She was an old hand with floods. When that water hits 35 feet at Ohio Avenue Bridge, Ma always lights out for Aunt Carrie's in Mount Austin. Sits it out. And everything was snug on the second floor, and my room was just like I left it. So Moish and I hit the sack, hoping the water wouldn't come any higher. And it didn't. Hey, Moish. Huh? Come on, rise and shine. Wake up. Huh? Hey, what are you doing in my cell? This ain't a cell, you jerk. Huh? Where am I? You're in my ma's house, remember? We ain't in stir no longer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, get with it. Look out the window. Hey, I'm hungry. Oh, wait, look at that. What? Stop raining. The water's dropping. You can see the parlor windows on the house across the street. So? So, by this afternoon, we can move. I'm hungry. You're gonna be hungrier. Ma's kitchen will be three inches deep in muck. Hey, when the water drops, they'll be looking for us. And we won't be here. By midnight tonight, we'll be in Cronin's Joint in Youngstown. How? You're here, ain't you? Yeah. Don't ask how, just take my word for it. We'll be there. By five o'clock that afternoon, we were plenty hungry. And we could stand a little more of that, because the water had drained out of the street. People were beginning to drift back to their homes, picking their way through the ankle-deep muck. It was time for us to move. Moish and I put on a couple of my best suits while the radio blared on and on. The Ohio Street Bridge is now 32 feet and falling. The Army engineers report that the flood crest is well past Frickburg and is expected to reach Steubenville tonight and Cincinnati tomorrow night. Oh, sweetheart, we're in business. Steubenville and Cincinnati. The, the cops over in Ohio will be so busy they'll never see the old points flash. That mud's going to ruin your pretty pants. So turn up the cuffs and let's go. That's the McCandless School. Positive identifications hey. hey, they turned my old school house into a morgue. Listen. Mrs. Mary, uh, correction, that's Mrs. Margaret Bragg. Moish. What? Margaret Bragg. River stage it's my ma. Maybe it was a mistake. Wouldn't be the first time they'd made mistakes like that. Or maybe it was a trick. Maybe the warden put out that flash to trap me. But maybe it was on the level. I had to know. I had to be sure. So Moish and I sloughed through mud up to our ankles, but not out of the Youngstown Road. I was headed for the schoolhouse. Moish, well... He's a good kid. He came along. They were stretched out in the assembly hall, row on row of them on cots covered with sheets. In the assembly hall, where us kids used to pledge allegiance to the flag and sing America the Beautiful. <laughs> I, uh, I beg pardon. Yes, may I help you? Yeah, Mrs. Margaret Bragg. I heard on the radio you had Mrs. Margaret Bragg here. Just a moment, please. I'll see if she's listed. Yes. Down that aisle to the right. Four or five cots down. You'll find the name on the tag. Yeah, thanks. Greg. Yeah? Even if they got her here, maybe it's a trap. I gotta be sure. I gotta see her. Yeah, yeah, I know. If you want to get out, get It's okay with me. No, no, I'm sticking, but keep your eyes open. Yeah, yeah, sure. What's that tag say? Campanelli. Luigi. Here one's unidentified. Leroy Sarah Jean. I went to school with her father. Here, pal. Bragg. Mrs. Margaret. Turn down the sheet, will you, Marsh? Yeah. Sure. Bragg, put your hands up. Uh, Bragg, it's Lefty, the head guard. Duck, down behind his cut. Come on, Bragg. Give yourself up. Let's not make any more trouble for these people. They've had enough of it. I didn't get this far to give myself up. No lousy more. <laughs> Moish, make your way behind these cuts to the door by the stage. I'll cover you. Okay. Okay, Bragg, I got the door open. Good boy. Come on, kid. Where's the sleeve? The balcony above the swimming pool. This way. Come on, we gotta make it across that catwalk with a high diving board. Go ahead, I'll follow you. All right.
Okay, Moish. Come on, we can get out through here. Right. Stand where you are, Moish. Nuts to you, Lefty. Moish! <laughs> You're next, Bragg. Are you dirty? You ready to come now, Bragg? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Hold out your hands. Okay, let's go. Lefty. Yeah? Can I say goodbye to... to Ma before I go? Yeah, I suppose so. How did it happen, Lefty? How did she drown? Didn't you read her tag? No. Seems the rescue boat she was in was capsized by an unidentified launch at the corner of Ohio and Liberty Streets last night. You're lying. Ah, that's what the tag says. Sort of a hit-and-run pilot. You're lying. I was running that launch. I... Oh, you were. Well... Like you said last night, Bragg, what difference does it make if you kill two instead of one? It's the same hot seat, ain't it? Suspense. Presented by Autolite. Tonight's star, Mr. Jeff Chandler. Well, Jeff, thanks for an exciting story and a wonderful performance. Well, thanks to you, Harlow, and to Autolite for inviting me to appear on Suspense. I, uh, I hope you'll ask me again soon. You can be sure we will, Jeff Chandler. Just as sure as Autolite is the world's largest independent manufacturer of automotive electrical equipment. Yes, in 28 plants from coast to coast, Autolite makes over 400 products for cars, trucks, tractors, planes, and boats, including complete electrical systems, ignition-engineered Autolite standard and resistor-type spark plugs, and the famous Autolite Stay Full battery. Yes, you can be sure, from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. <laughs> Next week on Suspense, another story based on actual events, a dramatic report on mediums and the terrible harm it is in their power to commit. Starring the first lady of Suspense, Miss Agnes Moorhead, in The Evil of Adelaide Winters. In weeks to come, we shall also present Mr. Charles Lawton and Mr. Tony Curtis, all on Suspense. Suspense is produced and directed by Elliot Lewis, with music composed by Lucian Morrowick and conducted by Lud Gluskin. The Steel River Prison Break was written for Suspense by William Norman. In tonight's story, Billy Hallop was heard as Moish, Anthony Barrett as Runt, and Joseph Kearns as Lefty. Featured in the cast were Bill Foreman, Jim Nusser, Byron Kane, Charles Calvert, and Larry Thor. Jeff Chandler appeared through the courtesy of Universal International Pictures and can now be seen in Iron Man, co-starring Evelyn Keyes and Stephen McNally. And remember, next week on Suspense, Miss Agnes Moorhead in another story based on actual events, a dramatic report we call The Evil of Adelaide Winters. Autolite spark plug or battery dealer, or the name of your authorized Autolite service station, phone Western Union by number and ask for Operator 25. Switch to Autolite. Good night. This is the CBS Radio Network. <laughs> 